You guys, check this out. Something really cool just happened. A breakthrough discovery. There were some archaeologists hanging out in New Mexico, in the south of New Mexico, at White Sands National Park. And they made this crazy discovery of these fossilized human footprints uh, dating back to 21 to 23,000 years ago. That's crazy because we didn't know that people were in this area of the world that long ago. That's, we thought people came here at the end of the last, the last ice age, which was 12,000 years ago. You know, this is where we thought civilization really started to come into fruition. You have places like Gobekli Tepe, Karahan Tepe, this whole area of the southeastern region of Turkey, where we considered, we considered to be the cradle of civilization. We thought this was, you know, I mean, as far as we know, this doesn't prove that people were having settlements and, and, uh, and stuff here in 21,000 years ago in the U.S., but what I'm trying, what my point is, is that we just have no idea and that things just keep getting older and older and older. Um, but check this out. So I didn't know that the re that uh, New Mexico at the end of the last ice age had giant sloths and uh, animals like that walking around. That's pretty cool. That's what this says. I'm reading nature.com. They just posted this article. In landmark study published on 23rd September in Science... Research, researchers suggest that human footprints from ancient lakeshore in the park, White Sands National Park, date between 21 and 23,000 years old. If the dating is accurate, which specialists say is likely, the prints represent the earliest unequivocal evidence of human occupation anywhere in the Americas. The evidence is very convincing and extremely exciting, says Tom Higg Higham. In archaeological, kind of sounds like a, an archaeologist's name, Tom Higham. Uh, he's an archaeological scientist and radiocarbon dating expert at the University of Vienna. And he says, I am convinced that these footprints are genu genuinely are the age claimed. The dates raise questions about when and how humans from Serbia settled in the region. How do they know they were Serbian humans? with evidence growing that they skirted the Pacific coast while inland routes were entrenched in the ice. The authors of the study say the footprints give credence to the continuous evidence of earlier signs of settlements in the Americas. This is, uh, yeah, this, I mean, this, if, I don't know how they prove any of this kind of stuff, like the, the dating of these kind of things, but if this is real, we have to completely rewrite history. And people still don't even know what that Gobekli Tepe, the whole area right there. I mean, archaeologists know, but like normal people don't know that that whole area is filled with uh, structures like Gobekli Tepe. And I don't mean to keep bringing that up, but it just points to the fact that, that there was civilizations thriving around the planet way longer than we had anticipated. We thought, I mean, I think we think that language, written language sprang 7,000 years ago, I think, 6,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. And that would have been the, you know, like really the first civilization. You don't really start seeing megalithic structures and uh, stone settlements really until the Assyrians, I believe. Until we found Gobekli Tepe. And now, I mean, now we're finding this kind of stuff, you know. And I mean, what would be around that long ago? What would be, what would have survived 12,000, 20,000 years? Not much. Which is why we probably don't find much evidence for it. But it seems like there was some kind of cataclysmic event that had wiped out all these civilizations. And we had to restart. And that's where we're at now. This is the, 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 the uh, the fire relit is our current civilization. We I like what Graham Hancock says. He says we're a species with amnesia that we don't know. That's why we find all these crazy structures all around the world, like uh, Saxe woman in Peru and Machu Picchu and um, Teotihuacan here in Mexico where I'm at. They don't people don't even know who built that. Um, there's so many just like mysteries, and it's it's so weird that any of us take like a firm stance when it just keeps on getting stranger and stranger. Let's uh, 
carry on with this evidence. Rocky evidence. For decades, archaeologists associated the earliest Americans with 11,000 to 13,000 years old. Stone, spear, pointed, and other vestiges of Clovis culture, named after another New Mexico site, but found throughout North America. So they thought the earliest Americans came that long ago because they found some stone spear points. So like uh, arrowheads, I guess. And you find those all over still. If you go digging around the U.S., even in Michigan, where my family lives, you find arrowheads. Um, the discovery of numerous pre-Clovis archaeological sites from Alaska to the tip of South America dating to as old as 16,000 years, sowed doubts about the Clovis first hypothesis and argued for a coastal migration from Siberia. I said Serbia earlier, I think, but Siberia. Where's Siberia? Siberia, Siberian tiger. That's Russia. So they would have had to come over from the Asian side. I guess let's look at a map real quick. So if they would have came from Siberia, yeah, they would have came over from the Pacific coast then. Not from the European side. Okay, let's go check this out again and see, what's, see what else they say. <clears throat> White sands is filled with human and animal fossil footprints. In 2018, the same team that found these tracks documented a giant sloth hunt on a dried up lake bed known as a playa. But these tracks are notorious, notoriously difficult to date, says, says study co-author Matthew Bennett, a geoscientist at Bournemouth University in the UK who specializes in study of fossil footprints. Every time you uncover something, it's potentially a different age. Dating is a nightmare. Yeah, I don't know. How do, how do you take such a confident stance on the dating? But it, I, I, hope, I hope it's that old. That's mind-blowing to think that like, to think that like Phoenix, there were people having settlements in Phoenix, you know, 20,000 years ago. Or maybe not settlements, but nomadic travelers walking around in that area. The team determined that several, the several dozen tracks belonged to numerous individuals, mostly children and teenagers. Oh, it's so cool to just think that 20,000 years ago, there was just some people running around right there. You know, we don't ever think about that. We, we tend to think of like sacred sites as having some sort of, you know, maybe cultural significance or religious significance. But if you think about the place that we are at right now, like here I am, and I'm in the center of Mexico City in Condesa. So think about what happened here. Not like I'm just sitting here with my laptop and there's a city behind me. But imagine 400 years ago, 5,000, 6, 7, 10, all this stuff that happened here. If, if we had it were your house, you know, where you live right now to think about all the stuff that happened there, all the way to dinosaurs walking around right there. If we knew all the things that happened where we sit, we would treat every place sacred and mystical. Cause it is so strange and mysterious to think that there was just like giant dinosaurs and all kinds of mysterious creatures wandering around where we now wander. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share this because this is really cool. Um, you know, it seems to be, I don't really see people talking about it. You don't really see people talking about too many archaeological discoveries. But this is so cool because um, I, I was born in the United States. So I love to see the United States be a part of, uh, you know, rewriting history. You know, maybe we discover Atlantis or something one day by, by slowly just chipping away the story through these discoveries. It says the footprints make it extremely likely that the ancestors of the, the ancestors of the white sand humans and other early settlers traveled along the Pacific coast. The next step will be to identify the people who arrived through these icy voyages. Yeah, that's so cool. This is so cool. Um, I was just geeking out about it, so I had to make a video. And I hope you guys also... Uh, geek out about it too because how fucking cool especially if you guys live 
in New Mexico, in the south of New Mexico, you should go visit this. I don't know if you're allowed to see it yet or what's going on, but I would love to go visit this one day. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just so cool. Um, I mean, this is all over. The New York Times is posting about it. All like the major science places. So feel free to Google it to do more discoveries let, or to do more research about this discovery and send me some comments below. Leave me some comments. I feel like I'm talking so weird today. Um, I just woke up, okay? I didn't just wake up, but that's, it felt like a good excuse to say in that moment, two seconds ago. Anyways, click subscribe. My name is Dakota. <clears throat> um, yeah, leave a comment about what you think. Do you think these discoveries are real? Do we know what we're talking about? Not me, but you know, these scientists, do they know what they're talking about when they say like, the age is this age or we're this old or this is how life happened? Do we know or does this show that we really don't know nothing and that everything keeps getting older and the timeline of our origins keeps getting pushed back and the mystery keeps expanding? You would think that, you know, the more we go through life, the mystery would shrink. We would learn to understand it. But no, it's the opposite. It just gets crazier every single day and it just gets weirder every single day. So click subscribe if you want to see other stuff. I've got videos of me hanging out in Gobek Gobekli Tepe, Karahan Tepe, you probably don't know about, which is actually the settlement of the people that made Gobekli Tepe. Another breaking discovery. I've got all kinds of videos of me hanging out at archaeological sites. You'll dig it. So, so dig it. Peace.